<laughs> Let me laugh because I know this is the part that everybody is waiting for. Because earlier I told you guys I have cheated, not just once but twice. Yes, it's time to tell you the details. Time for the story. Okay, the very first time I cheated, I was in secondary school. <laughs> I was so very young and naive. I was a teenager, yeah? So I met this very cute boy in school and we were hanging out together, you know? And we fell in love. We loved each other so much. So after school, we usually go by the gate. We hang by the gate, we talk, we laugh, and you know? And then we go our separate ways. So that's how our, our relationship was. But as a teenager while growing up and the influence from my friends and life experience, the things that I observe in life too, I was a little bit excited. I wanted to experience more than he was giving, you know. So I had some of my friends, they were a little bit bigger than me and they were like, hey, they would tell me stories about what they are doing and you know they tell me about orgasm and stuff having fun catching fun and i was like wow maybe i need to taste this maybe i need to be able to talk with my friends about this when they are talking i should not only sit and listen that's why i'm talking about peer pressure peer pressure is very very important and very very influential in a child's life while the child is growing up that's why i always say that the parents they don't give up to 60 percent of the education that the kids learn the things that they get to know doesn't come 100 percent from their home but from friends school tv every other thing from the internet that's how children learn and that's how they grow so as parents we need to really be strong to see that these influences that they get, get from their friends, we can counteract them by giving them what we know is good for them. So, these friends of mine, they were talking and so one day, a friend of mine introduced me to her boyfriend's friend and he was quite cute too. So I was like, oh my God, he looks good. And they linked us together and we started seeing each other but i was hiding actually because i will always see that guy my boyfriend that i did love so much my first boyfriend i will always see him after school at the gate we'll still talk and he will go home then i'll move to my friend's place because she too was renting i'll move there and i'll meet the other guy so just by talking and talking and talking and things finally happened but when it happened actually that's when I realized that I don't know if it's, uh, this is actually what I wanted because after that I really didn't want to see that guy it wasn't that interesting again you know I would stare at him and I don't really find what I needed so finally um, as it is said gossip will always meet the, the concern so Finally, somebody told my boyfriend, he called me and he was like, how can you do this to me? You know, children we were talking and I was like, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, please forgive me. I will not do it again and stuff. So we made up, we started hanging out together, but we were friends. I don't know, we were friends for about a year more and we did nothing. We we're just friends, we just loved each other and we were just moving together. And that was it. We went a separate way after school. He went to his bo another boarding school for high school and I too, I took another path. That is it. The second time I cheated, I was already an adult. Um, I was in the university, so I was seeing this guy. I never knew this guy was married, you know. We were both young. He was a little bit older than me. Uh, but I never thought... Uh, I never asked myself questions you know so I met him and 
he was like oh oh we always travel out of town and i was excited it was fun we'll go to hotels beaches we'll visit all place we we'll visit many places and it was fun we had fun I, I could i wasn't even thinking straight all i wanted was to catch fun so it never down to me that this guy had someone he was living it he was living with someone and they had a child i i had no idea so while we were together i was in the university so he was financially able he was supporting me giving me everything that i needed and that at that time that was what I really wanted. It was my first priority was to go to school, be able to take care of myself because I lost my father while I was still a baby. I was still very young. So my mother single-handedly -hand brought us up. It was really hard on her. So we also had to, she was doing her best. She would support us the best she could. But as girls, as we were growing up, that wasn't enough. We wanted to compete with others, we wanted to look good, we wanted, wanted to explore the world, we wanted to see things and be able to tell things, you know. So I was hanging out with this guy, he rented me a place, I was living there. So at that moment where I was living where he had rented the apartment, because he was in another town, he would be the one to always come. So one time, let me say after a period of time as it, as it is always said gossip will always meet the concern the person who is concerned so this gossip came to me and i met this lady uh, a very nice lady a friend of his and she asked me do you know this guy is married i said no i didn't and he said he's married have you ever thought or asked yourself why he has never taken you to his house <sighs> i said no ma then she said why should you be that stupid why you are in the university i expected you to start you know you need to realize things you need to be observant you need to ask questions and stuff so you really surprised me that you, you have never asked him on but he was always telling me I live with my brothers and sisters and stuff and I, I never bought that, you know. I was in school, I had no time to join someone in his place and cook and stuff, wash, do all dishes, wash dresses. I was just thinking about me, my school and my needs, you know. I loved him really, I was really in love but at that point it was not really my first priority. So. When this lady confided in me, she told me, please don't ask. I don't want my name to be on your lips. Let it be sealed. I don't want anyone to know. I told you this. Be careful. I'm telling you this because you're younger. You have your future in front of you. You have to open your eyes. You have to walk your way. You look straight. Walk straight. Look for the right person. Look for the right person, little girl. I love you and I want you to look for someone who is single. It's okay, sis. So, actually, to look for someone who is single is not just like tomorrow I'll have one or the day after. It takes some time, man. So, in this mini city where I was, in the student um, living quarters, I met, um, <laughs> I met this guy. He was so fly looking good i love um i love guys who take good care of themselves in so many ways you know it's not only about the physical there's something else there are things so many things things that will attract me to a man so this guy he was young just about a year uh, or two older than me but he was loaded he came from a very very rich family and so we clicked we fell in love <laughs> and then at that instant, I didn't know what to do. I was in love with two people. Yeah, I was with two persons. So I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to break the heart of the first person who changed my life in so many ways. Yeah, he really helped me and I still appreciate it today. But he lied to me. He was making someone unhappy. 
and making me happy you know that's not a good thing to do i didn't know i was really hurting someone but when i realized i was doing that i didn't stop it i still needed the dough you know i needed the dough i needed the consent i needed all those things i was greedy i was self-centered you know i was just thinking about myself so he he too was supporting and one day gossip met him and he asked are you before he came to me then and asked me are you dating this guy this guy had traveled out of the country and i was like no that's a lie and stuff and stuff and stuff and he told me it was true he had proof so he showed me what he had and really it was really clear proof that i was doing something wrong but he was doing something not wrong but he was killing someone it was more than being wrong you know so when he when he brought out that so i explained to him well you were married you never told me and i'm disappointed as well and i don't really care you know he said he, you know he's tried to like convince me and we made up and we started dating again and this guy was abroad and i decided just to forget about him and so I decided to forget about him but after a while a uh, short while i was just so fed up you know going out with a married man he has his family and stuff that's when i started realizing i started my eyes were open i could see everything i started recalling what used to happen you know how he used to behave and i was so naive thinking that uh he cares about his family his uh, sisters and brothers so that's why he's always watching home i didn't know so finally that's how it ended and i moved on with my life and here i am today forgive me people i cheated fine i was a bad girl i was doing bad things but like i said i learned a lot from that that was about mm, I can say about 18 years ago that it happened and it helped me a lot to understand certain things. It helped me to know how someone will feel when you're cheated upon. So does that make me a bad person? I don't think so. I don't think it it, I'm a bad person anyway. I don't think that. What I think is um, that was just youthful exuberant. I was still growing up. Um, like in the first case, I was still a teenager, but I was so so naive, and um, I was so <laughs> I was those kids who wanted to know things very fast. I involved very early and. I did so many things uh, that children of my age were not supposed to do. Not because my mother didn't bring me up well. She did her best. She was always talking to me. They would come after me. I was just a crazy girl, a crazy little girl who would go around dancing. And hey, even my husband, I knew him when I was in school. I was in secondary school. I used to dance so well, so. We would dance together, we had a club, you know, so that's why I knew him. I never knew he was going to be my husband, and so that's my boy. You know, I also gained a lot from all those things I got experience. I know how life is, and does cheating make someone bad? I wonder. I think no. It depends on the gravity it depends if it only made you worse but if it makes it turns you into a better person it's not that it's a good thing but it has helped you to become somebody who knows how it feels to cheat somebody who knows how the other person will feel when he's been cheated upon so cheating is not a good thing it's not a good thing however when you start cheating in a relationship and you're caught 
and you don't try to work on it you don't try to stop what you're doing that's the bad thing when you're cheating and your partner is aware of it and she approaches you and all you could say is insults you pour insults on this person you don't respect the person you could keep doing your thing you're out there just showing off with whoever you're cheating with that's a bad thing when you're cheating and you're hurting your kids you're disgracing your wife you give authority to your mistress or you give authority to the tea to the other man against your husband you're being wicked cheating is not a good thing when you're cheating you feel happy in most cases you feel like you're attaining something you are achieving something you feel like you're enjoying life you feel like you're up above the sky because at that time it's new whatever you are experiencing is new you just feel change and whatever it is at that moment is positive in your heart but at the long run you only end up realizing that because of this I lose something that was more important to me because I didn't want to see so it's always good to think about it when you are in a relationship and you cheat always try to think no one is perfect not everyone can be a cheat or can cheat but it's something that can happen so it's not a good thing to do i never said it was and i don't i don't think i'm praise i'm singing a good song for it but I'm just saying that I did it and even if I give some reasons but those reasons they aren't enough I did it because I was stupid I did it because I was weak I did it because I was frustrated I did it because I wanted to revenge at some extent and I did it because I wanted physical things I wanted material things you know so if you ask me do you ever think you cheat again no <laughs> I'm already at my bus stop I'm very happy where I am my person my boy gives me no reason to be sad not to cheat and even if he gives me that reason I'll be bold enough to walk away now i'm big i'm strong i'm a woman who knows what she wants and who knows how to take decisions and now understand life and now i can even help others to understand life now i can direct children or friends i can tell them i have the experience i have it a lot of it i have the experience about so many things in life that i can share with others.